Hi, it's Editing Kate here. I just wanted to add a little addendum to this video. I filmed it this morning, uh, quite early, uh, with the plans of it releasing it on the weekend. This was before the palace made the announcement that King Charles is going to start returning to his public duties in a kind of limited way, but as time goes on, uh, because he's doing well in his recovery. Normally, when the news cycle outpaces the tarot cycle around here, I just ditch the video and uh, carry on as if I was normal. But in this one, I was so happy with the results of the tarot reading that I've decided just to enclose it here and let you know what I did. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, good day. Hope that this video is finding you good health, good spirits. My question for the cards today is on King Charles's health. Of course, the king was diagnosed of having cancer in February of this year and has been undergoing treatment. It's kind of withdrawn very much from public life because like anybody who's going undergoing that kind of very harsh treatments for cancer, his immune system has um, been weakened and of course, being out in the public and crowds and that sort of stuff is the last thing you really want a 70-year-old man undergoing cancer therapy to be exposed to. So it makes perfect sense that he's kind of moved on. But there has been uh, some noise in the uh, news as to whether or not he's doing very well. Now, the, the palace has been very quiet and... You know what, I, I fully agree that the man has a right to his own privacy. But, uh, you know, I also know that there's a lot of well-wishers around the world who are hoping that he's doing all well. So, I thought I would pull the cards today. We did a, a reading last week on Princess Catherine's. And it had a very kind of positive feel to the reading. So, I'm hoping we're going to have the same results today. Now, uh, part of this room for the speculation that he's not doing well is that the king's funeral plans have been reviewed. Well, here's the truth of the matter. That gets hauled out no matter who any member of the royal family. Their plans for their funeral are constantly being upgraded and constantly being reviewed. And all the people that are involved practice it all the time. There would be I think something like seven regiments, military regiments, that would be involved in the king's funeral. And all of that. And you, I mean, we just had the incident in London where was that five military horses got spooked and went running through the streets of London during traffic hour. There was two in particular. I mean, I almost took out a couple of cyclists and a motorcyclist. So this is something that has to be... Cause Nobody, nobody wants something like that to happen during the, the king's funeral procession. So, I don't take a lot of alarm from the fact that they're reviewing his plans. Because, yeah, that's what they do. And, uh, but, you know, there's been other reports. And he's, he's very gaunt looking and, you know, kind of staying under the public eye, which is expected. So... I just thought I would pull the cards to see how things are going and see what we've got. New deck today. Well, not new to me, but it's been pulled off the shelf. I don't think I've ever used it in a reading before. And we are using the Tarot of Opposition. Interesting deck. Probably going to do a review on it, but won't be out for another couple of weeks. Um, but it has the upright and the reversed depiction of the card on the the same front and you'll see as we're going along so just going to do your standard celtic cross on this which is of course my favorite layout and our first one up to bed is the four of pentacles in a reverse position four of pentacles when it's reversed is about a letting go right is about whatever you've been holding on to whatever you're trying to keep to you letting it go and it is crossed by the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card about transition and release and moving on, but 
for this reading, I think most importantly, it's also a card about healing, right? So it's moving from the transit, transiting from that state of illness or being under some kind of disease process into a state of wellness. Now in the past, we have <clears throat> the two of swords in a reverse position. And this card is about indecision and avoidance. And the king has never, certainly when he was Prince of Wales, was never a particularly confrontational individual. Um, so I don't see him as one, a person who like identifies the problem and goes and deals with it. I think there's been a lot. And he, of course, has been very sheltered and protected by the system, the courtiers and the palace and all that sort of stuff. But that doesn't help you when you're the one on the you know business end of a cancer diagnosis, right? There's nobody in the group that can protect him from what he's going through now. So he really is, in many ways, very alone um, in this process as anybody who is undergoing a serious illness, right? It's a scary place to be. Been there, done that, got a lot of uh, respect for, for those that deal with it. In the future, we have the Four of Cups. And this is a card about contemplation and allowing things. You know, it's the whole idea that the three cups are spilled or have been drunk. And the person is just kind of sitting there like, what are they going to do next? Sometimes gets reported as kind of like boredom. But there is that one card that comes out, the, the one cup that comes out, and that idea of gift from spirit. This is, I am sure, a kind of deep contemplation for the king. Because, like I said, it's a journey you take by yourself, no matter how many people you have around you. Now in the sky of the reading, which is kind of like the overarching goals or the objectives, if you will, or what you're aiming for. We have the Ten of Swords in a reverse position. Ten of Swords in reverse position is fantastic card for this because it is a card that's about resisting. You're resisting just, you know, the laying down and letting it go. It's about regeneration. It's about perseverance. So the King is still in good spirits. He is not giving up. He is moving towards whatever kind of treatment processes he went and let's face it none of these treatments are particularly easy to undergo certainly on his schedule it looks like because he's often traveling to medical centers it looks like he's probably undergoing radiation therapy for whatever kind of cancer that he has um, as opposed to chemotherapy which could be done in a more private setting <clears throat> And in the foundation, the underlying energy, well, the energy that holds this thing up, we have the Queen of Swords in a reverse position. Now, the Queen of Swords, when she's reversed, can be very overly emotional and very cold-hearted. But this is one of her strengths, is she can be very critical at sorting things out. And I would say that... The Queen of Swords in this position, which who I possibly think is Camilla, his qu queen, literally. Um, uh, she is extremely protective of him, and she is not going to let anyone, family, courtiers, palace officials, whatever, interfere with his peace of mind. Like, I really have that feeling that she is going to be a tiger in this corner. And in the message from spirit, hanged man, hang in there, man, hang in there. Contemplation, waiting, developing, you know, some kind of perspective, but also a state of limbo, a state where you're kind of waiting for things to happen. He's not in the driver's seat. Nobody with a serious illness is in the driver's seat. You are the recipient of what is happening to you. 
right? So your body's doing its thing. You have to deal with symptoms. You have to deal with this. You have to deal with knock on side effects. So you really do have a sense of loss of control. But this is an idea that it can be done in a peaceful manner. You are waiting for something to happen. You are having a greater perspective on what other people are going through. And again, we have this second card that talks about contemplation. In the environment, what other people around are talking about, the thing people that influence, and you know, God knows the man's got like a gaggle of them. And we have the two of wands in a reverse position. This is about being in your comfort zone. So he is very comfortable in where he is. He, you know, he's in his uh, normal settings, right? He is powerless. I mean, I don't care how, how you are on the totem pole when it comes to these kinds of things like cancer diagnosis as, in, as individuals, we are powerless over it. We have to accept that's what it comes back to that contemplation. So there is this disruption to his life. Now, so far there hasn't been disruptions scheduled really, like he's still on for a tour of Australia in the fall. Um, and there's been no indications that that is going to be canceled. Obviously it will depend on how he is feeling. Um, it often comes into an idea of lack of planning this, this card to one's reverse. There's no lack of planning in a Royal life. Right? I mean, they're about as spontaneous as a shuttle launch. Every, you know, for months out, their schedule and their uh, requirements are laid out in front of them. So, um, yes, planning may be disrupted. And that's the nature of any kind of these beasts. Hopes and fears. Oh, the King of Cups. King of Cups is... An outward looking energy. It's very wise and mature. It's diplomatic. It's balanced. It's a generosity of spirit. And people are attracted to the King of Cups because the King of Cups gets them on an emotional level, right? He's the one when you talk to him you feel heard that he understands what you are going through. This I think is going to be something that Charles can build on. He's, he's done it throughout his life where he has tried to be sympathetic and understanding of the position that other people have, despite the fact that he literally grew up, you know, he, in a, fabulous, fabulously wealthy and privileged environment. But he has been smart enough to recognize that not everybody has lived like that. And he has been extremely sympathetic. And you see it quietly in, what is it, the, huh, you know, the village that he has built and that, you know, people that have tenancies on his lands and that sort of stuff. He's actually, he's actually not a bad guy. And this is from someone who doesn't like monarchy as a system. But I don't think the king himself is a bad guy. I think the system stinks. But that's another story. Final outcome. Page of Wands. That's interesting. But it's a vital energy. It's uh, ideas and creativity and inspiration and uh, exploration and moving in. And most importantly, when a page is in its upright position, it's about good news and the good news message from the spirit is going to be delivered right now because we're at the end of the Celtic cross and oh, 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 it's the sun, the sun. Oh, you couldn't guess for a better job here. Um, this is joy and happiness and abundance and success and optimism. Again, this idea of vitality and this is going to be all right. The king is going to be all right. It is, I'm, it is a trying time. I am not trying to take away from the suffering that he's enduring right now. And you know, the sense of isolation that comes with any kind of chronic illness, 
but he's going to be all right. I really feel that this is very positive for the cards. And, and it's backed up by the shadow card, which is the six of wands. And that, of course, is the victory card. It's about success. It's about winning. And again, we're having this idea of moving with confidence into the future. So let's just take an overall look at this reading. You know, we have a couple of ideas that are coming out. One is acceptance, you know, that whole idea right from the start, the four of pentacles in reverse, that letting go, followed by the six of swords, you know, moving on. So it's not trying to come to a past and not getting all bitter, how, like, how dare this happen to me, right? It's moving on from that. Another thing that's coming out in this reading is the idea of contemplation or taking a time to find out where your true values are and what's going on around you and just being reflective on both the past in your life and where you're going. So we have that four of cups in the future position. That's a card about contemplation. And we also have the hanged man in the message from spirit, which is, you know, surrender to fate and wait and contemplate and use this time that you find yourself in limbo as an opportunity to develop some wisdom and maturity, which of course is what we had with the King of Cups. So overall, I think this is a very good reading for the King. And that is my reading for today. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.